Thanks for staying with us. Joining us on the show today is the General Manager, Legal State Environmental Protection Agency, Dr. Dolakpo Fashawe. She will be speaking to us on the Eco Clean Air Initiative, which comprises of four pillars tackling air pollution, switching to gas initiative to stem climate change, and trash or cash and community engagement. Welcome to the show, Ma. Um, in this segment, we'll take your phone calls because I know plenty of you want to say ah. something about <laughs> this clean air. Do we, what's going on? Call us on 081-270-53687. Or you can call us on 091-390-769848. Yeah, the number is on the screen as well. So, the conversation on clean air. You know, a whole lot is happening in Lagos. Mm -hmm. Like, a lot. It's as if every, every department is in competition to be the so most, do, yes. The um, but we, you've been here before, and I and um, you're here again and talking now about clean air. And everybody here, thanks to Mariam, we are now conservatives. We are now protecting the environment. But I want you to start by letting us know what what exactly is this initiative about? What does Lagos want to achieve mm -hmm. with this clean um, eco for clean air initiative? Um, good morning, everyone, and to the viewers at home. I would start by defining air pollution. And I will take us on a little journey back to so developed nations. In 1970, the United States of America um, rolled out a bill called Clean Air Bill, just in 1970. That means before 1970, Nobody thought of air pollution. Mm. And that was because people were dying mm. due to what they were breathing in. And that was when Environmental Protection Agency was set up for the first time in the world, just 1970. So for us to have an active Environmental Protection Agency in Nigeria, which yeah, has been nice. since the days of PEPA in the early 80s, we haven't done so bad. Mm. Now, what is the work of the Environmental Protection Agency? Today, we're focusing on air pollution. Air pollution is the presence of um, substances in the air, particles, molecules, chemicals, biologicals, or man-made. Mm. Air in itself is supposed to be transparent, odorless, you can see through, mm. and um, it's, it's clean and crisp. A call for clean air came about because um, whilst I'm general manager of Lagos Environmental Protection Agency, I'm also a medical doctor. And um, a study done by World Bank, verifiable with medical doctors, showed that in 2021, we had 30,000 premature deaths mm. due to air pollution. And painfully, out of these 30,000 deaths, 70% were children under the age of five. Wow. Children who had no voice, mm. children who could not explain their symptoms and signs mm. to, to, to their parents, children who were strapped on the back whilst their mothers were frying akara. And the breathing smoke. in smoke oh my and all goodness. of that. Wow. And um, there's outdoor air pollution, there's indoor air pollution. When we hear of a family of six, it's in mm. Amala Just and dying. dying before morning with their, I pass my neighbor Inside gender. the house. That's clear, typical carbon monoxide poisoning. And what is the main mission and vision of this present administration? You will realize in our six pillars themes, the governor in his wisdom puts health and environment together mm. because the quality of your environment mm. is directly it's proportional, not only to your health, to the social and economic GDP, even the GDP of any space. Mm. So... Can you... Um, so... I feel like I'm in class. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> Taking notes. Yeah, you should be a lecturer. Try it out. By the way, I was listening to the previous um, 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 yes. guest. Yes, yeah. 
I'm also a daughter of a lecturer, a <laughs> professor. Yeah, a and she started her... <laughs> she broke like, it down. I'm in class right now. And but, my father was university librarian, oh. custodian of books. Interesting. I love to teach. So oh. let's go. You have it. So mm -hmm. um, what exactly are the steps Lagos State is beginning to take for to give us this clean air, considering the... Um, when I say topography now, we have people in Lagos who, like, in every compound, you can count the amount of generators. In every street, you can count the amount of These days, out of Lagos the compounds are not even able to accommodate all the cars that we have. We have uh, residential places that have been turned to commercial environment, and we have all of these emissions in the air. What steps is Lagos taking exactly to give us this clean air? So... When La Sepa was created, there were laws enacted guiding and guarding our activities. Okay. Air pollution is a crime punishable by a fine and a time in jail. Wow. But then, how do you start to punish or, or find someone who doesn't even understand that they have committed a crime? Mm. And that is the essence of Echo for Clean Air. It is pure advocacy, yeah. teaching, mm. information, education, and not only talking to people, communication. We want to hear from others. We want to hear their views. And what we are doing is um, we have this project called Breathe Clean Air Now. Mm. Okay. And what the project is about is telling people the effects of air pollution. Um, I would also switch to medicine again. At times, it's good to use scare tactics, like HIV, AIDS, cancer. <laughs> yes. <laughs> On every stick or pack of cigarettes now, you'll you see, see gory the... pictures. Yes. Mm. Air pollution causes death. Air pollution causes illnesses. Air pollution causes premature. All stages of your life from pregnancy. A new study that was conducted in the UK shows that air pollution causes autism. Wow. Hmm. In wow. unborn children. You've gotten to where I'm going. So we as Nigerians do not agree that we cause some problems. You know, when you, like I'm done having kids, I want to start a business. I put it in my house, in my residence where I have neighbors who will be affected if I start that. And I send my kids off to boarding school. While my neighbors are dealing with babies, you know, I have two incidents and I must commend your agency. There was a noise pollution issue. My client had, had, uh, had us handle in Ikorodu. And she just sent a message. La Sepa came. We closed down the church. But, you know, she ha still had to run away because mm. now the Everybody's pastor... looking at her like she's the... The head of all that church. <laughs> And causes her out, you know, calls for her to die, 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 die. Jesus. You know, from the church. And all the members shout amen. So she had to ah, run out oh of the God. country for that. But La Sepa responded. There's also the issue of, you know, the downtrodden people who don't think that there's a La Sepa somewhere. Mm. And, you know, I, I see one on one. So somebody puts a pure water company right in front of the house, puts the gen and says, I live on this side, so I cannot turn the smoke to my side. Mm. And, you know... She doesn't really care what's happening to the neighbors. No, she, she can't be respond, you know, to talk to, you know. Oh, yes, you can. Be. I would like um, your view to scroll our complaints channels, which I would reel out here. We have lasepa.org.gov, our website. You don't have to know anyone. Yes. Just go on there, upload the video. It's all digital. You get responses right there and then. We kill you. And if it's an emergency, we go right there. I was at a meeting yesterday where someone was commending La Sepa. She reported her neighbor that the generator was not only causing... Air pollution can also be noise pollution. Mm -hmm. Yeah. yeah. Was not only causing noise pollution, she was spewing carbon monoxide into her compound. Wow. And to her greatest surprise, in two weeks, they bought a brand new gen. Mm. And what did La Sepa do? We would just go there. You don't even need fancy measurements mm -hmm. and all. <laughs> your eyes and your nose is good enough to dissect okay. air pollution. Mm -hmm. We take off the battery. 
put an X on the generator. If possible, seal the compound and the people in there. Mm -hmm. Jesus Christ. Because you are also endangering Yourself, your own life. as well as mm -hmm. others. Knowing. And we do a lot of education. We leave IEC materials behind. We help you understand the, the effects of air pollution on your health. And um, we respond. So what, what power before, do you have before to Before you ask that question, let's take a quick break. We'll mm -hmm. take a quick commercial break. When we return, we'll dig further into how we can ensure that Eco for Clean Air Initiative benefits us all. Stay with us. We'll be right back. Stay tuned. Your view will be right back. Welcome back. Thanks for staying with us. We still have Dr. Fashawe here to tell us about the Eco Clean Air Initiative. Eco for Clean Air Initiative. Yes. So there were questions that you want to address. Go ahead, Mom. Okay. Before we went on break, we spoke about, um, she was asking me about commercial activities, mm. generators, noise going on in residential areas. Yeah. I'm very happy that the Lagos State um, Ministries, we work together. We have multi-sectoral approach to these things. A call for clean air has gone as far as talking to Federal Road Safety Corps, the Nigerian Police Force. Mm. Very soon, smoky vehicles will be arrested and taken off the roads of Lagos. Mm. Not only one way, it would even be treated worse than when you drive through a one-way lane. Because there are laws against it. Mm -hmm. We just haven't spoken out enough. We have not done enough advocacy, which is what Eco for Clean Air is about. We're starting to let people know that air pollution kills. Air pollution is against the law. Air pollution has consequences. And the powers of the law gives us the right to either confiscate whatever is causing the pollution, arrest if it's anthropogenic, meaning that a human being is burning stuff or mm -hmm. doing things, and if it's a machine, and come to think about it, generators, motor vehicles. So in that study where we found out 30,000 people had died of air pollution, in Lagos alone, not in Nigeria, we did something called source apportionment, and the highest source of air pollution was the transportation sector. Mm. Vehicles, trucks, buses. your cars, buses, and my cars. But cars were not made to pollute the air. Cars were made to make our lives comfortable. Mm. Let me take The only it. reason why a car will pollute the air mm. is because your Fossil fuel is not being completely combusted. True. Your engine is bad. You have not serviced your car as it when due. True. And your silencer is leaking. Yes. Generators too. So the car too, is in good condition. Yes. Generators mm. were made to help our lives. If it is smoking, it's bad. It is, if it's smoking or it's making noise, it is bad. Simple and short. And Lasepa is clamping hard mm. on these things. For, I will tell you a little story. We well, had I, air I quality. Call. <laughs> yes, we have a phone call. I'll get your story about air quality check. I see that on CNN usually. They have this air quality yes, check. And yes, I'd like to yes. hear what Lagos looks like. Yes. Um, let's take Jibril. She called in from Ikeja. Jibril, welcome to the show. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Sorry, we kept you waiting. How are you, madam? Very well, thank you. Go I'm ahead calling for a voice. Voice. We can hear you. Go ahead. You're live. How are you? I'm calling for you. I'm calling for a voice first time. Oh, welcome, welcome to the show. <laughs> I want to I want to comment that madam that is talking. Okay. Um, Lagos State Lagos, Lagos State government, they've been doing a very, very wonderful job. Oh, we lost the call. So you were going to talk about um, the air quality. So there's something called air quality index and is measured in zero to hundreds and in colors. So when we watch CNN, those meteorological mm -hmm. things, mm -hmm. green is good, blue is good from 
50, 60 is still good. Once you start to see orange, mm. red, purple. Terrible. Black. Terrible. <laughs> <laughs> and um, so we put an air quality monitoring machine in Ikorodu. But um, the sensors, you know, World Bank, we were getting reports from the U.S. And all of a sudden, at um, on a Monday morning, we started getting evacuate, evacuate, evacuate. That means air quality the day. air quality really is low. so dangerous that it could cause immediate death. Wow. Luckily for us, schools were on vacation. Hmm. This machine was right there in the school. It showed abnormal amounts of carbon monoxide, carbon dioxide, sulfur oxide, lead, mercury, cancer-causing substances in the air. And we, I'm like, evacuate to where? Hmm. What do I do? Hmm. Who do I call? So we went there, and lo and behold, there was an iron smelting industry oh. right next to the school. From a distance, I could see the smoke. Uh -huh. Their furnaces were bad. And they didn't care. They just went on doing their thing. Business. That factory was shut down for about three months. And to, to, to put credence to my shutting them down, at least 12 of their staff landed in the hospital that day. You were sick. Mm. Yes, I have medical records to prove it. Wow. wow. So, of course, the staff and the company started understanding what, you were saying. what we're talking about. They changed their furnaces. It cost them a lot of money. But then, you can't, life cannot be quantified. <laughs> and also, not only did it cost them a lot of money, they had to move their furnace far away from mm -hmm. the school. Because air pollution has also been found to reduce children's IQ. Oh. Yes. And I call the child dumb, not knowing that the environment hey, is the Yes. A child that learns in a noisy environment, a child that learns where he's breathing in carbon dioxide, where he's not getting enough oxygen pumped into his brain, would always fail. Wow. It is mm. that bad. Mm. Urban and Regional Planning Agency in Lagos State is also working with us on Echo for Clean Air. Mm. We're saying now schools should not be put around industries. Mm. Homes so industries should not be put around, around schools. schools. Whoever comes first. first Whoever, right? Yes. Yeah. And there are laws. There's, there's town planning. Please let me take this phone call. Abiodo has called us from the UK. Welcome yes, to the show. Yes, Good yes. morning. Good morning. I'm speaking from UK. Good morning. Welcome to the show. Good morning. I was in, I, yeah, yes, I was in Nigeria in October. I came back in April. My, my neighbor put on a generator and nearly killed me. I went to private hospital, almost two million bills, Naira. And I wrote a petition to NASEPA. I wrote to LBIC who built the house, and I wrote to the general manager who worked of it. Nothing done. I have to come back to UK. Mm. And I'm, I'm, I'm so disappointed that I decided to relocate back to Nigeria. This is what I was welcoming for after that year. So, uh, Mr. I think so, Mr. or Mrs. Abiodo. Mr. Jai, Mr. Jai, Mr. Jai. So, what can you do to help me in future? Yes. Because the lady hasn't taken the generator up till now. Wow. So, um, what? Mr. Jai, it would be good. Mrs. 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 Biodo, I'm, I am sorry you I did not get a response from us. That is strange because our complaints channel is online and our response time. And what we've done is right there and then. I would appreciate if you send your complaints to 0805-8844-335. I am putting myself out there to deal with this particular complaint. And I hope you would be able to come back to your home and live comfortably. You see, the issue of neighbors and generators, it is amazing because he is not only harming you, he's harming himself. Yeah. 
we're starting to see people come down with cancer, otherwise healthy people, people who have never smoked. Mm. And it's just simply because you are breathing in carcinogenic substances from your home, from your generator over time. That generator has to go or the neighbor would go and um, harm it. himself mm -hmm. somewhere else. I would look forward to receiving your complaints and we hope you will be able to come back and live peacefully in your home country. Thank you. So sometimes you have cases like this that, you know, might um, face with a very stubborn character. Do you at all mediate between parties oh, first? Oh, do you oh, oh, yes. do a warning oh, yes. before, you know, you then bring in the sledgehammer? So our laws, La Sepa laws of 2017, section 182, you're a lawyer, you can check it out. <laughs> <laughs> says that, first of all, we serve an abatement notice. Mm. Let you understand what is going on. Then we give you a stop work order and a compliance directive. We stop whatever you're doing. We show you how to comply. We show you what to do to make your indices and your air quality um, acceptable. I mean, as low as reasonably acceptable. And if after then, with moratorium period, you do not abide, we shut that business. We have cases in court as we speak. We have gone all the way to appeal court with multinationals and big conglomerates. But the law is the law. And in the end, the law tilts in the side of justice. Yeah. Yes, we do have um, consequences. Yeah. So for, I, for I always um, like us to prevent. Prevention is always better than which kill. Is, growing which up. is the eco for kill. Yeah. <laughs> and uh, my question will be concerning these industrial uh, companies that set up in residential places. What um, collaborations are you doing with town planning to ensure that they don't even set up at all? Mm -hmm. That's one. Secondly, uh, the um, claim for cash. What's it about? Because I heard cash and my head is popping. <laughs> yeah. money, what do we money. do to make some money? <laughs> so Eco for Clean Air also is, um, like I said, it's multi-sectoral. We work with physical planning, town planning, building control. There are people, we have monitoring units mm. all over the place in Lagos State. Are they working? Yes, they are. Try and build, just start putting up a structure between the local government and the state they government. They will find and you. They will find you. <laughs> and you will show your approval to be where you are. There's residential areas, there's commercial areas, and there are mixed areas. Look at Lekki Phase 1. What do we call it? Mixed. Hmm. Mixed. It's become mixed. It was originally intended to be residential. Oh. You can't put a factory there, even as mixed as it is. Mm. But um, there are shops, Shops, bars, yeah. restaurants. Mm -hmm. yeah. Look Admiralty at the whole of Admiralty. Admiralty, Admiralty yeah. is taking over. Initially, it was supposed to be residential. Oh. But then the landlord started selling the front plots to mm. businessmen <laughs> and living at yeah. the back plots. These same landlords now come and complain that uh, the, the people in front noise. are, are making noise, <laughs> traffic is disturbing. At times, the law also, we have to tweak it in a rapidly developing city yeah. like oh, Lagos. Okay. We cannot say because we are trying to tackle um, um, air pollution, urbanization will be killed. Mm. Tourism will be killed. Mm. So you balance so it. So we balance it. Lekki has become a mixed area. But well, there are some strictly residential areas. The estate I live in, Parkview, is strictly residential. You cannot find an industry in there. Mm. Yeah, so I'll just quickly take a phone call from Yakub. Our callers tend to complain when we keep them waiting that the charge card is expensive. <laughs> Not Yakub. <laughs> <laughs> Yakub, welcome to the show. Good morning, sir. Yeah, yeah good morning, Mama Deji. Good morning, Ma. And uh, good morning to you all. And then you'll get good morning. Good morning. Uh, you see, one thing I want to say is that uh, is it the fact that just for me, so I think from London, even we that we are living in Nigeria, if 20 call comes to this uh, studio this morning, I can tell you 19.99 of all the complaints that we are disturbing with that generator issue. 
I mm -hmm. would like you to call that number once again. Because here in Dope, if we my own place I'm staying here. You put in it Dope, on the screen for you. Yeah, the the, 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 the my neighbor, the, in the night from 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 10 30, if this person put on this generator, he will never of it until 5 p.m. and 5 a.m. in the morning. So if you look at if that generator is running on your head, on your brain will never set you. So I'll be complaining to his landlord, and then what the landlord tell me that I don't like. So if they don't like, that means that you can be talking some of what I don't like generator from morning to night. As if from night to morning as well. So so please call that number once again because we are to have we would like to have that number. Thank you. Thank you so much. So um we will tweet the number. We would also mention it again before the end of the show. Mm. Um, yeah. There's a website. Mm -hmm. I think that uh, we, we also need to just follow the process. Phone mm. call might be easier, but um, the website will give you upload. She said upload your evidence. There's the Instagram. Yes. There's Facebook. There's Twitter. There's Twitter. And Twitter is there's also the very website. fast response. And it's open to everyone. everyone. We have put ourselves out there. When you complain and we don't respond, put it out there. Nobody wants to see he, his or her agency not doing well. Mm -hmm. We have systems. When I joined La Sepa, we had four zonal offices. We have a vision called Vision 2023. That is to have 20 zonal offices by 2023. Mm -hmm. And gratefully, the governor has been magnanimous mm -hmm. and my commission has been magnanimous to support la sepa now we have 17 zonal offices wow, wow. close so, to the mark yes very close to the mark Play for even... cash Biko. let's not forget we... <laughs> what trash money? for cash yeah trash for cash, cash. For cash. Yes. now so part of air pollution or a major source of air pollution is uh, when people start to burn refuse when people burn plastics, especially, plastic pollution is a major problem. It's air, land, and water. Look at Lagos after a rainy season. Mm -hmm. What we are showing you on the screen right now is um, our Cash for Trash initiative, which we took to Obalende. And what do we do? Simply, we put a premium. Say a used plastic bottle is being recycled and sold for 20 naira. Cash for trash, La Sepa's Cash for Trash initiative is to buy that plastic bottle for 100 naira. Uh -uh. Yes. Wow. It has happened. We have tried it. We have tested it. We have a proof of concept and it has worked. And why do we do this? We just want people to start to understand the concept of secular economy. Mm. Everybody's waste is somebody's raw material. Mm. Exactly. I like that. There is nothing called waste. Mm. Mm. I would go to an extreme, almost disgusting situation that I met in Copenhagen in Denmark. I'm suspecting. Urine <laughs> is being recycled to beer and <laughs> wine. Onion and wine, that's one. No, no, I was not suspecting <laughs> that no, no, one. No, 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 no. I, I was thinking feces for feces, energy. Yes. No, feces <laughs> is being used to power yeah. homes. Yeah. Well, you read for beer. I've not seen that. Yes, you read for beer. What would that one be? Now, do, <laughs> cash, trash for cash is that, let me just give simple examples. When we make gari, cassava husk mm. is being exported to China. Chinese people will make us fancy bags, using those things? fabric, linen, with, with the cassava? waste product of the farmer's cassava. Wow. So the essence of Cash for Trash is we are teaching people mm. that whatever no your waste is, somebody needs it as a raw material. material. We are focusing on plastic waste now because mm. after every rainfall in Lagos, just look on the roads. If plastic was valuable, mm. you won't see it on the roads. No. We don't see can coke metals. We yeah. don't see True. steel. You don't see um, 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 Maltina cases because people buy it mm. and it's of value. Scavengers mm. pick it. But plastic is so bulky and so cheap. By the time you pack enough to earn you 2,000 naira, 
the next recycler transportation today is mm. 2,500. Oh, and then what do you get? Mm. So what Cash for Trash is, is the governor has given us approval to use taxpayers' money to incentivize mm. and put a premium on your trash. You may say it is not sustainable, but then I want people, we want people, La Sepa, we want people to start learning and understanding that let me gather these things together. Yes. I can sell. I I'm can make plastic, money. No. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, plastic, even yeah. from homes. Yeah. People, even my staff, would bring their plastics back to the office. Mm, and collect something. Mm -hmm. Something. Oh, Chuku. In fact, in our quest to merge what we do, a call for clean air and cash for trash is having a joint program very soon. Okay. And for your plastic bottles, Lagos State Government will give you gas cooker. Wow. Ah. Filled with gas, clean Please. gas, clean energy, in exchange for your plastic bottle and the wood you used to cook. We're going into communities. Oh, Our okay. first community is... We need to talk. Is, <laughs> because it's an amazing in those areas. Our oh. first community is ah. it's a do market around Lekki Phase talk. 1. Mm. We will announce the program. Right now, we're doing a KAP study, Knowledge, Attitude, and Practices mm. of Market Women Towards Trash. Mm. And um, um, yeah. look at that program we had right there. Mm -hmm. I don't know. In... One hour, the whole of Obalende was, was clean. clean. People wow. started... Motivation. In fact, some of the Loma people that were meant to cut these things mm -hmm. away took off their jackets. This is, so, this is such an amazing... Your, your, <laughs> your agency is doing amazing work. And really, yes. I, I, I have to say that we have to give it up to the governor because there's an enabling system. Mm -hmm. we, on this show, we've spoken to several agencies and we have women... Women heading agencies in Lagos and doing, doing amazing, amazing job, you know. So mm. thank you for what you thank do. You. We never have enough time to go over it. But Nigerians, take responsibility for yourself, you know. Mm -hmm. Do what you can do without any motivation. Keep your environment clean because she's told us when we keep our environment clean, we live, hell we live longer, we mm. live better. Our children are smart, are healthy, you mm. know. And that's all we can take on the show today. Thank you, ladies. Thank you, Dr. Fashaway. Thank you so much for joining us. So we'll see you again tomorrow. Have a wonderful day. Bye. Bye.